have one more question based on the lick you just played. So when you're going from triads, whatever, you're descending legato. I have a much harder time practicing descending legato than ascending. What would be the number one tip you could give me for working on descending in time with proper finger pressure and making sure every note rings out and I'm not, I guess like the first two notes aren't quicker than the third when I'm pulling off. You know what I mean? Sure. I might try something like this where, uh, let, let's just go back to C major. I might do something where, cause you said it was descending that yeah. gave you more trouble. So mm -hmm. something that may help, it's different than what we were just doing, but mm -hmm. I think that this would still help quite a bit. And it's playing, like not picking every note that you play per string. For example, if you have three notes per string, you only pick two. Mm -hmm. If you have two notes per string, you only pick one, right? So like, let me, sh let me sh show you my right hand. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because the yeah. last one, like it, say there's three notes, that second note, you know, it has to, like when you pull off, like it, it has to sound legato because you, you are not picking, you're not giving it right. a chance to sound staccato. But I mean, with, with the first note and then to the second note, you know, maybe it could sound staccato, right? Right. That's, that would be what you don't want. Mm -hmm. You'd want. Another thing to think about, and this is actually just more of a mindset. It's not actually playing, but when you actually are picking the notes, think about leaving, like, think about letting the note ring for as long as possible before mm -hmm. actually letting the other note sound. So I'll, I'll pick this D. And then I'll eventually pick the C, but there will be zero space between the two because I'm going to let it ring for as long as possible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there, there's no space in there. Uh, mm -hmm. So also like sometimes I, I don't think about things that I do when I play, uh, that have become natural to me. Like, I don't think about explaining them, but, uh, maybe this is not natural to everyone, but, um, when I descend, usually I have the fingers that are on the lower frets. Usually they're still applying a decent amount of pressure, right? Like, like my pinky is what we're hearing right now. But if I, if I keep the same pressure with these two fingers and remove my pinky, it's still enough to actually let the string produce sound. Mm -hmm. So like, as I descend, you know, that, that holds true. So that's something to perhaps keep in mind as well, if you aren't already. 